Okay, I'm literally side by side, which is in Blackwell. What? Work Hi. and rival website. Can't mention it. Okay, so we have a thousand things to say. <gasps> Susan is a hilarious rock on toes. So first of all, I first want to talk about um, injuries. Go, and it involves not one but two. Uh, so I was doing, <laughs> I was doing a very prestigious production of the Mouse Trap on the University of Minnesota Centennial Showboat. At, when I was in graduate school, I know I can see the prestige Wait, on your face. You were on a um, showboat doing mouse trap. I was on a showboat doing the mouse trap. I was play, playing the mysterious lesbian Miss Casewell. Are mm. you familiar with her work? No, but <laughs> mysterious lesbians <laughs> I am familiar with. <laughs> I chose to do this characterization. This is a tangent, Joy. This characterization where I thought it would be really fascinating if she was super mysterious. So I trained myself not to blink. So I would sit on stage for like 15 and 20 minute stretches and I would never blink. Okay, my question is though, was it noticed by anybody but yourself? No. Okay, that's what I love. I love like bitchy makeup that no one cares or sees. Excellent. I it, but I thought it was super insecty. Like I thought it was gonna be, I was in graduate school. What do you want? Continue please. So, um, so we were doing the mouse trap and it was the final dress rehearsal. And I was running for a quick change and they hadn't completely hemmed my pants. They had just tacked them and the heel of my right shoe got caught in the cuff of my left pant leg at the top of a step unit. And I went whoosh, whoosh. And you know, time slows down and expands. And I put my arms out in front of me oh and I just squeezed my eyes shut oh and turned my head. And the floor just kept, <laughs> I love to get the camera work. And it oh. just went bam and my arms just kind of telescoped. And oh my God. I broke them both. Both. And then the mysterious lesbian, Miss Casewell, was not only like non blinking and insecty, but the rest of the summer I had casts on both arms for a summer theater showboat adventure. So we had to write things into the play like, well, she certainly couldn't have done it. She's got, that lesbian's got <laughs> casts on both arms. <laughs> <laughs> just things. Agatha Christie was like rolling in her crib and scratching oh, on the just... coffin lid. <laughs> that, was a, that, that was a crazy, crazy summer. Just like shenanigans and crazy pranks and mishaps. And that was the last show, the last production that they did on that iteration of the showboat. And then it was, it was like dry rotting and falling apart, rickety rackety. <laughs> we were rickety rackety. The boat was rickety rackety. <laughs> And so they put it into dry dock and they, over the years, they raised all this money. They raised all this money to, to refurbish the showboat and they finally did it. They worked so hard and they returned it to its former glory. Yeah. And then right before they were supposed to go into the, 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 the re, what would they call it? Uh, the re inauguration. I don't know what it's called. Re the rechristening of, the, of the, the new Centennial showboat. In the middle of the night, a welder spark set it on fire and it burnt back to the hall. And the upshot is, I think we cursed that mother <laughs> showboat, yo. She couldn't have burned it. Both of those <laughs> lesbians are. Okay, okay. So that's, that's A. Did it. Okay, so B is one of my favorite stories, which was in now period here, period this, period, but it was cut. cut. I wanted to retell it. Because it's all about how everyone in the show, all the title of the show folk, all needed attention <laughs> as children. Poor freaks, yeah. Yeah, for, and they all sort of essentially feign different injuries to try to get attention. Hunter would slam a door in his foot to try to he break tried, it. He thought that he would get a lot of attention if he had a cast, so he would put his foot in a door and just slam it to try to break his foot to Match. get the cast. So people would sign it and they'd be like, he's <laughs> super special, he's got a cast. <laughs> okay, so this idiot is growing up in Ohio, kind of know I go to school one day, Seven years I old? I hated going to school. I was, I was little. I'd like to claim that I was like four, but I don't think so. It was a winter's morning. It was icy out. And I was going out to the car, uh, very cold, very, very cold. And I did slip and fall on a patch of ice on the walkway. But she was not injured, is her point. But she I wasn't did really injured. Maybe I was a little scared. I'm kind of giving myself the benefit of the cut. doubt. So I was four years old and I was super scared. Okay, <laughs> no, she was, I was, like and I was like nine? <laughs> okay, she's an adult. Okay, fell for a second, got I was up. Really like, oh, I totally convinced my parents. P.S. My brother is a huge fan of yours, so I just want to say hello to my brother John, who lived through all this horse. So, shut up. So, so I can't shut I can't my mouth. Shut my An mouth. injury that hasn't happened to anybody, by the way. I don't know. 
Is that a possible injury? I'm sure that's a well-documented <laughs> medical injury. I can't shut my mouth. So my yes. poor parents who, P.S., could not afford this. I don't even know if we had health insurance. Get, I don't know if they got my siblings to school. I don't know. But all I know is they, both of them, took me to the emergency room. And we sat. I remember this so clearly, sitting in my father's lap in the emergency room with a wad of Kleenex. I'm not just drooling into this wad of Just committing to it. Completely committing. And this thing started to unspool in my head where I was like, how is this going to end? How's this going down? Because there's no pretty way out of this. So finally, after a long time, P.S., if you can't shut your mouth, you're not going to get seen quickly in an emergency room. <laughs> you should probably add in something like, and I'm shooting stomach pains or something, or I'm bleeding from my rectum, because nobody, nobody cares. So, so we finally get into the room, and we sat a long time in the, um, in the examination room, and finally this um, Asian male doctor comes in, and he, you're going to be me, and I'm the doctor, fully credentialed, you're in great hands. And he feels, and he, you know, he's, he works it all. And then he just steps back and he says, can you try shutting your mouth for me? Dun 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 dun. <laughs> Hospital bill. My <laughs> poor parents. Can you try shutting your mouth? It's just like slowly close. <laughs> slowly close. I'm sorry, Nancy and Fred Blackwell. I love you so much. Okay, and finally, <laughs> inappropriate roles. Not, not a showboat, but in high school, Susan Blackwell, they did West Side Story. Your school was how ethically diverse? Um, there were no people other than white people. Okay. So we had white people, all manner of white people. <laughs> All and also, of white. and also, there. You no, know, there was in the middle school. There was one. Uh, there, uh, it was K through 12. It was a very small rural school, Bethel High School. Holla, the fighting bees, yo. Anyway, so um, there was one, a little black girl in the middle school, but she had been adopted by a family. <laughs> white people. So she was essentially white. So they did West Side Story. Susan was naturally cast as Anita. Ay ay ay. And how did you look? Racism? I like, no, no, no. Okay, how did you look Puerto Rican? Lily red face because you never seen her. How did you look Puerto Rican? How didn't I look Puerto Rican? Okay, God. So, um, I, we, we, I did a lot of tanning bed. A lot of tanning bed. For realsies? Oh, yeah. I, but I was a hardcore tanner anyway because I was a cheerleader. So I like to keep it. I liked it tight and tan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, also, I maybe a little bit of that... Um, Texas so, dirt. Yeah. Do you know what I'm talking mm -hmm, about? Mm -hmm. We use it a lot in the outdoor drama. We, as if I was still participating in outdoor drama. Mm -hmm. I did my time, sure. And also, um, just dyed my hair jet black. Um, I looked amazing. Okay, <laughs> so we're, we're going to see just a snatch of what it was like. Imagine a very tan Susan Blackwell dance Yes, I, before we sing, I just want to say also, my friend Kelly, who played Maria, has said this. It was, it, we didn't sound so much Puerto Rican as we did Transylvanian. Mm -hmm. But for some reason, our dialects were very much like this. We sounded like Count Chocola. It was Chocola. That's how we say it when we're from, Count Chocola. Okay, let's try, let's try a little of the bridge. A boy who kills, two, three, four. A boy who kills cannot love. I'm sick. A boy who kills has no heart. Yet he's the one who gets your love and gets your heart. Very smart, Maria. Very smart. You know what wasn't smart? I sang that note on high and never pretty. Then, now, never. I'm out. <laughs>